Hey everybody, Jeff Pinheiro here. Some of you may know me better as the Revit Kid. The video you are about to see is extracted directly from my new course, DIY Dynamo. DIY Dynamo was set up for absolute beginners who are afraid to start or simply don't have the time. If you wanna learn Dynamo and you wanna start your journey now, head on over to DIYDynamo.com and sign up to find out when enrollment opens and closes. So without further ado, enjoy the video. For our first ever Dynamo script, we're gonna do something that is extremely simple but very powerful. What this script does is allow you to do something using Dynamo that you can't do using simply your keyboard and mouse in Revit. In the sample files folder, there is a file called 01 rotate columns. Feel free to use that file or simply create your own file and place a few architectural columns. What you see here is we have a bunch of architectural columns. Now, if I was to ask you, I wanna rotate each one of these columns 30 degrees on their own axis and do it with your keyboard and mouse, how would you do it? I could tell you right now, there's really no way. If I was to go into my floor plan and I was to select all these columns and use the rotate command, you could see what happens if I click 30 degrees, they all move at once. If I select one of them and click rotate and 30 degrees, I can rotate one of them. But there's no way to rotate them individually on their own axis 30 degrees until Dynamo. So I'm gonna go back to 3D and I'm gonna show you what this script does and then we're gonna make it. So I loaded Dynamo. I'm gonna select my model elements. So I'm gonna select all of my columns. I'm gonna click run, and you'll notice on the left-hand side, if I click run, all of the columns have now rotated 30 degrees. I'll go to floor plan view so you can see it as well. So there's a perfect example of Dynamo being able to do something more than what you can do with your keyboard and mouse. So let's get into it. If you haven't opened Dynamo yet, or the sample file, feel free to do so now. So I'm in the sample file, which again is called 01 Rotate Columns V2017. I'm going to go under Manage and I'm going to launch Dynamo. Now I'm going to create a new workspace. So on the Dynamo home screen, I'm going to click where it says New. You'll see we have our workspace. The first thing that you always want to do when launching Dynamo is you want to change the run sequence from automatic to manual. So down on the bottom left, see how it says automatic there? I'm going to click that and I'm going to switch it to manual. And you'll notice a run button comes up. By default, Dynamo sets to automatic for some reason. Um, in reality, you want it to pretty much always be manual because as you're building a script, it'll just keep running and running and running and you'll run into some serious issues. So make sure you do that. In Dynamo, this workspace here is where all the magic happens. You'll notice on the left-hand side, there's a whole bunch of pull-downs and drop-downs and, and whatnot for selecting different nodes. To me, I think this is what scares a lot of new users away from Dynamo, is the fact that you start pulling these down and you could see that they go on forever and ever and ever if you keep expanding them. I'll tell you a little secret. I never, ever, ever manually look for a node. I always search for nodes. And once you realize that, and once you start looking for specific nodes using the search command, it gets a little less scary to work inside of Dynamo. So don't feel like you need to learn every single node within every single category or subcategory within this. You'll see that over time, you're going to build a knowledge base and know which, which nodes you're going to look for, or you're just going to simply give it a shot. And based on what you're looking for and what you're trying to do, you can search for those terms and you'll see that the nodes will come up. Sometimes the hardest part in beginning with Dynamo is actually knowing where to begin. Well, the answer is really simple. The reoccurring theme, or better yet, let's call it a mantra. The mantra of this entire video series is Dynamo does it the way you do it. And this will help you simplify everything and even the most complex things in Dynamo. Think about what you would do with a keyboard and mouse or within Revit itself to accomplish the task you are trying to create. So in the example we're using here, if I minimize Dynamo, let's think about the steps it takes to actually rotate a column. Well, I need to select the column. I need to type the rotate command. I need to activate the rotate command. And then I need to type in or, or select an angle. 
and then once I end the command, it's rotated. So keeping that in mind, we're gonna set up our Dynamo script. So what's the first thing we need to do? We need to select our elements. So I'm gonna, again, I don't necessarily know exactly what selection command we're gonna use. I do for this video, but in general, maybe you don't, or you don't know the exact term. So if I just start typing in the search bar, the term select, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff comes up. Okay, so there's a lot of selection here. But then we're gonna say, okay, well, what am I doing? I'm selecting elements. So let's search for select elements. And you can see now we have a, uh, we've narrowed it down. We still have a lot. But what we're gonna do is for this example, in the next example, I'm gonna demonstrate different selection methods. In this one, we're just gonna use what's called just manually selecting. And so basically, select model elements is gonna be our, our key um, node here. So what I want you to do is place the select model elements node. And the key there is to make sure you are, are using the select model elements with an S and not select model element, because we need to, if you notice here, that's actually on the left-hand side, it's called select model element. That's only one element. If you read the description of this, it says select multiple elements from the document. So I'm just gonna click that node and it's gonna add it. And you can see it immediately says nothing selected. Okay, so now thinking through the process of how we actually rotate the columns, what's the next thing we need to do? We need to use the rotate command, correct? So without even knowing the name of the node, if I just type the word rotate, so automatically we filter it down to all the nodes in Dynamo that have to do with rotation, okay? So now you don't have to read through all of these in the tutorial, but if you were to read through each one of these, you would notice that they all don't do what you're looking for. Um, they're looking, looking for different types of rotations, different angles, and so on and so forth. So, and this is how I learned Dynamo. I just went through and I sort of started looking at it. And then I found this one called set rotation. It says set the Euler angle of a family instance around its local Z axis. So when you read that description, automatically you're thinking, great, it's rotating around its local Z axis. So it's not rotating around the axis of all the elements, just the one instance. So that's the perfect node for what we're doing. So I'm gonna click that to place it. Okay, so if you remember, we select model elements and then we have to uh, select the rotation command. Now, what we want to do is think about the next step. The next step is actually gonna be rotating it, correct? So that's all happening within this node. Okay, so this is our entire rotation command. And you'll notice what it's looking for is it's looking for a family instance. So it's looking for, in this example, it's our columns. And then it's also looking for an input called degrees. So that's gonna be what we rotate it at. So that means we need to place a node that allows us to input degrees. So I'm gonna select where I search for rotate and I'm gonna look for integer, okay? So we can go through and we can select a, a, a node for integer and we can place it, or Dynamo gives us this great opportunity to simply type in the number 30 into what's called design script. And so I prefer that method and you'll see down the road how we're gonna use that for different things like strings and integers and inputs. But basically, whatever you're gonna type in your keyboard when you're doing this command, you can use the uh, design script for. So I'm actually just going to double click on my Canvas workspace, and it's gonna place what's called a code block. And as we move through this, you'll see where code blocks be can be extremely um, powerful in Dynamo. But for this example, we're just gonna type whatever degrees we want. So let's just type 30. And the, the key with the code block is that you have to finish it with a semicolon. So if I zoom in, you could see I have a code block with a semicolon, and that's our degrees right there, our 30. So if you wanted to go 45 degrees, simply change that to 45. Okay, so let's rewind again. Let's go through the steps. We're gonna select our model elements. We're gonna select the rotation command, and then we're gonna set the degrees, and then it's gonna run the rotation. Okay, so that's exactly what we do with our keyboard and mouse. We're just replicating it in uh, Dynamo. So now let's plug it all together. So it's gonna need some inputs um, for the rotation, correct? Because what do we need to do? We need to select it and then run the rotation command. So our inputs are gonna come from our selection and we're gonna plug in the elements to the family instance. So it's looking for, okay, what elements are coming into me? Which ones am I rotating? Here we go. Then we're gonna have to set the degree. So simply grab the right arrow plug it into the degree. So you'll notice this rotation command, and if you remember when we manually do it with the keyboard and mouse, we select it and we press rotation, so we need to tell it what to rotate. We're actually doing all that right here. Okay, so we've plugged in, 
we've plugged in our elements to our family instance, we've plugged in our rotation or degrees to our, um, to our degree input. Now all we have to do is select our elements. Okay, so this is a manual selection. What we're gonna do in the next video is I'm gonna show you different ways of selecting that are, are, are more automated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to just make the, the window of, of Dynamo a little smaller. Obviously it helps if you have multiple monitors for Dynamo. And so within Dynamo, you're gonna click Select, and you'll notice in Revit that the Properties windows and the, um, the browser went gray. That's how you know that you're in a selection mode for Dynamo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna select a few of these. I'm just dragging across in, in Revit. You'll notice what it does is it populates the Select Model Elements node with a whole bunch of element IDs. That's telling you that these are all the columns you selected. Now you'll see we have it set to 45, so if I click Run, you'll notice all of my columns that I selected rotate within their own axis at 45 degrees. Hopefully the same happened for you. See how simple that is? If you just walk through the process of how you would do this using your keyboard and mouse, you can easily use the search bar in, in Dynamo and you can create a simple script like this. In the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a couple different selection methods um, in order to automate the process of actually selecting and then rotating instances.